Minitab screen layout. The Minitab window can be divided into four sections. 1. Menu bar. 2. Toolbar. 3. Session window. 4. Worksheet data window. Now let's look into each of the sections in detail. The first section is the menu bar of Minitab, where you can open menus and choose commands. All the key menu items like File, Edit, Data, Calc, Stat, Graph, Editor, Tools, Windows, Help and Assistant are present here. Each menu in turn has many other commands in them, which can be assessed through the menu bar. There are multiple short keys that are also available within Minitab to access these commands. The toolbar provides a quick shortcut to issue some Minitab commands. By clicking on toolbar, it performs an action or opens a dialog box. The toolbar displays different tool buttons depending on which Minitab window is active. Session window is the area that displays the statistical results of your data analysis and it can also be used to enter commands. All textual, non-graphical output will appear in the session window. As appropriate, headings will reflect the commands that you have actually created. While the session window is active, click on Editor and then either select or deselect Enable Commands. Worksheet Data Window, also referred to as Data Window, is a grid of rows and columns used to enter and manipulate the data. This area looks like a spreadsheet but will not automatically update the columns when entries are changed. You can open multiple worksheets each in a different data window. Minitab works with data in a worksheet of columns and rows. Usually a column contains the data for one variable with an observation in each row. Columns are denoted by C1, C2, C3 and so on. Rows within columns are numbered 1, 2, 3 and so on. A project will have one data window for each of its worksheets, but only one worksheet can be active at a time.